Hi everyone and welcome to the CTC Awards for 2021. I'm Dave Norris. I'm Mark Kermode. And uh, we did this last year virtually, but um, I was sat in a bar and you were sat at your kitchen table, I believe. I was. We were socially distancing by 142 miles. We are now socially distancing by the length of one seat in this lavish screening room. But we are socially distancing. We are distancing. still socially distancing. Anyway, so we're going to we're going to um, dish out some awards with uh, not too much faff and uh, I will start. The first award is for new technology of the year. Now, we're two years now into the pandemic and um, with uncertainty still on the horizon, uh, keeping commercial businesses open and maintaining a safe space is still at the forefront of people's minds. Now, while such measures as masks and social distancing play an important part, technology can as well. Counteract Technology from Christie is a ultraviolet disinfection technology that effectively reduces harmful pathogens and adds a layer of defense as part of a multi disinfectional strategy like regular cleaning. With patented Care 222 technology, Counteract is designed to continually and effectively neutralize pathogens around the world, like COVID, uh, in high ceiling locations. And it is also the first UVC technology with an optical filter that blocks potentially harmful longer. UVC wavelengths being emitted and it's technology like Counteract that will doubtless be vital in the up and coming months. So congratulations to Christy for um, grabbing the ball and running with it in far in so far as um, you know a technology that is really going to come in useful. Congratulations. So the next award is for Auditorium Technology of the Year. Now, I'm sure you've noticed a growing trend for small and boutique cinemas. And this year's recipient is an affordable and technological game changer, um, a solution that will create first-class cinematic experiences for moviegoers. The Speedo Super 5000 projection from GVC Technology offers DCI compliant cinema in the smallest, lightest and quietest DCI cinema projection unit available today. The projector is powered by GVC's ultra reliable DCI certified all-in-one board and features ALPD 4.0 RGB plus laser phosphor technology to deliver bright movie in images, vibrant colors on screen up to six meters wide. It's already been awarded numerous accolades, including a Red Dot Award in 2020 and a Residential Systems Best Award at CEDA 2021. Units are now installed around the globe and it's fast becoming the projector of choice for small auditoriums and alternative venues around the world, including, we are told, and I'd quite like to see this, um, a cable car gondola in Switzerland. So congratulations, GVC. Okay, time now for the Cinema of the Year Award. Often this award has been given to an extraordinary or eye-catching new build. However, at times, an incredible renovation project grabs the attention of the entire industry. Recently voted the most beautiful cinema in the world by Time Out magazine, where I used to work, I mean, a long time ago, the 100-year-old Royal Toshinsky Theatre in Amsterdam, now run by Pathé Theatres Netherlands. Founded in 1921 by Polish entrepreneur Abraham Toshinsky and his two brother-in-laws, the Royal Theatre is the last remaining cinema of this empire, the rest located in Rotterdam, sadly destroyed in 1940 during the Second World War. The cinema has served as a venue for many gala premieres, it combines lavish interiors and unparalleled service to create a magical cinematic world. The main auditorium features unobstructed views from every seat, thanks to a uniquely designed cantilevered balconies, removing the need for supporting columns. 
The cinema was acquired by Pathé Cinemas in 1996 and commenced a major renovation between 1998 and 2002 to restore the cinema to its original grandeur. Screens 2 to 6 have undergone a major renovation over the past two years, installing the latest cinema technology along with new seating, creating a blend of modern digital cinema whilst preserving the historic architecture and feel of the building to create the most beautiful building. So this year's winner of the Cinema of the Year is awarded to the Royal Tyshinsky Theatre in Amsterdam. Congratulations. Right, time now for the Rising Star Award. This year's Rising Star arrived at the cinema industry just a few short years ago and has been making waves ever since. Over the past few years, this Rising Star has become something of a force of nature, combining an effervescent personality with incredible communication skills and a growing knowledge to help share key subject matters with the global cinema industry in an accessible way. No, it's not me. From contributing to event cinema podcasts through to interviews with industry executives, extensive work covering core subjects such as sustainability, a leading hand in the CJ Cinema Summit, and now as editor of Cinema Technology Magazine, this year's rising star is Helen Budge. Congratulations, Helen. Now we come to the Outstanding Achievement Award of 2021. Now bringing the big screen experience to an audience requires amazing skill and expertise. And this is never more on display than when creating an experience outside a traditional auditorium setting for our very own industry, um, which is something I've had a little bit of experience of. Now each year, this recipient performs nothing short of miracles. They transform a high profile entertainment venue into the state of the art auditorium uh, with the latest and greatest technology on offer uh, from equipment manufacturers all in a few short days. The complexities of this operation, however, are quite often overlooked. Behind the temporary cinema created inside the Colosseum at Caesar's Palace lays months of planning, a dedicated schedule, um, meticulous installation, days of work alongside studio partners to practice presentations all geared to provide the experience that is CinemaCon. Um, and regardless of the lack of sleep, doubtless incredible stress levels, the remarkable team at Boston Light and Sound deliver flawless presentations for the entire convention. A time when presentation quality matters most to our business, Chaplin and the team really do deliver for CinemaCon and festivals, premieres and their customers. This very well deserved outstanding achievement award goes to the boys and girls at Boston Light and Sound. Congratulations to them. Okay, time now for the Technology Pioneer Award. The Technology Pioneer Award acknowledges the work that an organization has done over a sustained period of time to support the advancement of the movie industry through technology. Now, when one thinks of the term technology pioneer, there are few in the industry who this more readily applies to, particularly the pioneer part of that term. Founded in 1968 with a culture of innovation at its very core, this pioneer has become the leading global premium cinematic format and is regarded as having introduced stadium seating, developed the highest resolution camera in the world, and pioneered laser projection technology. IMAX's initial introduction to the public came in 1971 at Ontario Place's Cinesphere in Toronto. Initially, IMAX was deployed into purpose-built theatres and placed in museums, science centres and some iconic commercial destinations. However, over the years, the technology has adapted to find a way into more than 1,500 locations around the world. Many inside cinema multiplexes, I was in one just the other night, and it has become a beloved consumer brand with moviegoers around the world who associate IMAX with the largest screens and the highest quality presentation. So this year's technology pioneer is IMAX. Congratulations.
Time now for the Lifetime Achievement Award. Now this year, CTC continues to break with convention by awarding not one, but two individuals with Lifetime Achievement Awards that recognize their amazing efforts to support the cinema industry. COVID-19 has taken its toll on the industry and there is a collective sense of loss that we all feel, none more so than the news that reached us recently regarding the tragic passing of cinema industry veteran, John Kidder. In a career that spanned more than 30 years with National Amusement, John started as a cinema manager before progressing through to the chain's director of cinema technology, a position that led him to be responsible for designing and delivering cinemas, not just in the United States, but across the world from Latin America through to Europe. Softly spoken and with a wonderful sense of humor, John was always generous with his time, keen to learn from his peers, and always there to support and develop those around him. His incredible knowledge and understanding of technology made him a trusted and respected global cinema voice, and his loss will be felt by the entire global cinema community for many years to come. And whilst this award is sadly posthumous, we hope that it brings some comfort to John's family at this difficult time, knowing how much he meant to his peers around the world. Now, our second recipient is best described as a colossus of the cinema industry. A true innovator with an incredible understanding of the cinema industry, Jim Unick from Glasgow-based Unick Consulting has spent his entire architectural career designing and planning cinemas throughout the world. Jim founded his business in 1976, and today Unit Consulting has become one of the leading multidisciplinary practices serving the cinema industry. Unix customer and projects list reads like a who's who of global cinema exhibitors. Just a brief glance at the company's website shows the artistic flair and passion that Jim has brought to his work, creating eye-catching and iconic spaces. Such is Jim's reputation that if you've walked into a cinema in the UK, Jim has likely at some point had a hand in its design. Unit Consulting has been responsible for the design and build of around half of the multiplex cinemas in the UK since 1985. And Jim and the team have played a hand in the refurbishment or remodeling of a large portion of the other half. In recent years, the company has expanded overseas, placing a presence in the UAE to serve emerging markets, including Saudi Arabia, where quality and excellence is a prerequisite to cinema builds. Although now retired, Jim has left an indelible mark on the global cinema industry, and his work will continue to inspire moviegoers for generations to come. Okay, everyone, that was the awards uh, for this year. Um, kept them brief as um, nobody likes looking at a screen for too long, well, not a computer screen anyway. Um, Have you seen the length of movies nowadays? <laughs> That's what I do for a living, look at a screen for too long. Anyway, um, thank you for watching. Congratulations to um, all our recipients. Uh, thank you again, Mark, for supporting us and supporting the awards as, as usual. And I hope next year that we're, we're, we'll all be back in a room together and we'll be able to do this as a, as a live event rather than uh, having to uh, do it virtually. But thank you again for, for supporting us as always. It's been a long time now. It's always a pleasure. Thank you for inviting me. I'd just like to say, um, as Dave just said, We'd love to be doing this in person again, and I trust and hope that next year that will be the case. Thank you for bearing with the fact that you just had to sit here and watch me and Dave sitting in a screening room, separated by a piece of yellow tape, reading off a piece of paper. But, you know, hey, needs must. Um, I do think that the cinema industry has done an incredible job of surviving this very, very difficult time. I think the future of cinema is secure, thanks to the efforts of everybody to make the experience as good as possible for the audience. The amount of people I've spoken to who, when I've asked, you know, what they found most challenging about the last year or two years is that they've missed going to the cinema as much as they wanted to. And there is a real appetite, as I think we saw when Bond opened and everybody was flocking into the cinema. So I have no doubt that the industry is in good shape. But if it is in good shape, it's only down to the efforts of everybody working in the industry. So thank you very much. Um, 
hope to see you all again in person. In the meantime, stay safe, be well. We'll see you at the next one.